G.I. Joe, Rise of the Cobra. Uh, that, I, that's tr that movie I hear is just horrendous. Bad, yeah. Yeah. So now, uh, what, what did you think of the Rob Zombie production? Halloween 2. Well, it's not just produced by Rob. It's, I mean, written and directed by Rob Zombie. Wow. Why, a triple threat, that guy. Why, no one else wanted it? No, because yeah. he writes and what directs... Did he, what, did he pick, uh, pick it out of the garbage? He didn't pick it out of the garbage. He writes and directs all his movies and yeah. does a hell of a job. Yeah, but when you got a franchise like the yeah, Halloween franchise... You know, they're bidding and outbidding each other. Like, no, I want it, I want it, I want well, it, I want it. How does Rob Zombie get the Halloween 2 franchise? So he came up the with Halloween the, char franchise. the character of uh, Michael Myers? I didn't say he wrote the original story. He wrote the screenplay. You said wrote. Well, he wrote the script. The script Sam. that they read. And did he did he tell uh, Michael Myers how to uh, like act like uh, Michael Myers? He uh, reimagined Michael Myers, as a matter of fact. Oh, we saw Michael Myers without his mask on. Wow. Big beard? Really? Yes. Because, well, he they gave him the Halloween, the first Halloween, because they know he's a genius. And they wanted to see his take on it. And right. so, he, you know, that's why they did it. The second one, he didn't want to do a sequel. Wait, wait, wait. Rob Zombie re made Halloween? Yes, it was a huge success. I swear to God, I did was not it? know that. Did you Halloween. know that, Ed? Yeah, I knew that he had All really right. done the first one. And Rob how did he redo the first one? He, it was a remake of Halloween. I understand that, but when they redid uh, one of Hitchcock's movies, uh, yeah. which one? Where they where they did frame by frame and made sure it was exact. Psycho. Uh, yeah. Psycho, no. right. The, uh, Vince Vaughn, I believe, was in that one. Yeah. Right? Rob Zombie totally reimagined Halloween for the first one. He did a little bit, some prequel elements. We saw Michael when he was a kid a little more, the family life, yeah. some of the things that motivated Michael. What about uh, did uh, uh, Captain James T. Kirk motivate him? No. Did they in, did they get into why he wears a James T. Kirk William Shatner mask? They actually went over the fact that he always uh, hid behind masks while he was in the mental institution. He made his own masks, and he always wore masks because when he was a kid and he killed his sister and uh, and his dad, his stepdad, or his mom's boyfriend, dad. whatever. Yeah. Uh, he was wearing a mask, a clown mask, because it's Halloween. Uh -huh. But he's just a boy. Sam, Wait, I know, what? I know uh, you're you in love me. with uh, Rob Zombie, but uh, pull your pants down and uh, admit that uh, <laughs> Halloween 2 is dog shit. I won't pull my pants down. <laughs> and Halloween 2 was far from dog shit. It was pretty good. Mm, far from dog it, shit. It, it got 21% positive reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't like, they don't like horror movies We respect Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes to a point. To a point, but that's exactly to a point. Not and that right there is proving why not all the way. All right, uh, name one thing that was bad about the movie. Bad? Yeah, because not every movie is perfect. True. The only thing that I I would have done differently. I won't say I didn't like. I would have done differently mm -hmm. if I were making the movie. Was I was having a lot of trouble at first. I did. I thought it was in the seventies because everybody looked seventies ish. Ah. Alice Cooper posters on the girls' walls. Charlie Manson poster. Blah blah blah. But then uh, Dr. Loomis was on a, a TV talk show with Weird Al Yankovic, and they were watching it on a flat screen TV. <clears throat> well, then obviously it's. Um, but modern, everybody looked like uh, they had mustaches and sideburns. Wait, so. That's what, what the I, fuck, I figured man? it Why out. Why is though. he doing that? Why? It's a different dimension. It's not the world that we live in. It's. Stop. What? Dude, stop it. It is not. <laughs> this, wait, wait, wait. No, it is not. This is a world that Rob Zombie has imagined. This movie sucks. So instead of reimagining just the movie and the characters, he reimagined the entire world. Yeah, the, like the way we think of cultural trends. He reimagined that. Like in District 9, you know how there's not really a District 9 in Johannesburg? Uh -huh. Same type of thing. But it made sense for District 9. This well, this what the fuck is he doing with the Halloween franchise? Yeah, come on. Well, the thing is, they really? wanted they were gonna make a sequel to his remake regardless. He said, but then he found out it was gonna be like just thrown away to whoever. They were gonna make it straight to video. So he figured, fuck it, I might as well get the money. No, 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 no. He oh, wanted what? to maintain some of his own. He felt like Artistic they were Artistic integrity. Yes. Stop it. Why? What else was bad about the movie? He wasn't a lot bad we, about it. At least we admit you admitted to one fault. The Dude, time, give us, uh, you know what? Just give us just one more fault. Yeah. Fault? I mean, some people complained that there was like a lack of a, a depth of story. Like the first Halloween was a very good story. 
It was it, like my girlfriend enjoyed the first Halloween, even though it was very gory and uh, manly for us guys. Uh huh. Uh huh. The second one, not so much, because she complained that there was like a lack of of depth of story, like we didn't, uh, and a lack of depth for characters and characters, things like that. It just becomes a slasher movie. And I saw it with a friend of mine who said, like, because the whole time Michael Myers is seeing his dead mom and himself as a boy. And his mom is telling him what to do. And my friend said that he didn't understand whether that was supposed to be just things he saw or actual ghosts or whatever. I, I mean, mean, it was another dimension. No, that wasn't a, oh, another, another dimension. dimension. A whole shit. another dimension. How many layers of shit does wow, this movie really? have? really. It's not a lot of shit. Dimensions. Because, so, it, I mean, ah. but it was obvious. So poor character development. No, not, that's not what I said, though. Didn't like the flat screen TVs because it was in the 70s. No, but I understood that later. And and a lot of confusion. And Not by the for way, me. How did you understand it later? Who told you where'd you read it? I know. I just kind of. <laughs> no, no, you didn't. I had to justify it. You didn't. That's how I justified it. I didn't. Did you? Well, did you then? There's nothing in writing that says this is supposed to be a different dimension. But how, I figured that. How many it must minutes? Be. How many minutes in the movie were you very disappointed in your hero Rob Zombie for remaking right. Halloween and making Halloween two? That did, first of all. He did a hell of a job. The Halloween franchise has been dead for some time. There have been terrible Halloween movies well before Rob Zombie reimagined it. Oh, so that's your excuse. I'm saying at that... At least it's not the bad, like, Halloween 5. Here's what, Yeah, there are worse Halloween movies than Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Well, that's not going to get that's people good. to the theaters. Wow. <laughs> that should be, should be on a billboard. Yeah. There are worse Halloween movies. And it was better than the Friday the 13th remake that came out this year. Now that movie was dark. Let me say hi to Jimmy in Jersey, who also uh, so oh, we just lost him. That's right. Well, he Oops. he wasn't happy with the movie. Well, I wasn't. Oh wait, happy let's with go to uh, Rocky along. Rocky. Rocky, Rocky. What's up, boys? Hey. All right, listen, I'm a huge Rob Zombie fan. I thought Devil's Rejects was fucking great. Yeah. This movie was a pile of shit. The story was shit. The violence, though, I'll give it to him, was fucking great. The violence was some of the best I've ever seen, but storyline. Absolute horse shit. You just didn't get it. Oh, uh, you didn't get it. I mean, if it goes above people's there was heads. There nothing to get. It was fucking retarded, Sam. There was nothing to get. It was him walking around like a homeless person. Uh, well, obviously, he doesn't have a home. He's Michael Myers. What do you think he went and bought a house? See, the original Halloween was great. The story, it was terrific. The Rob Zombie's original the Halloween? The character development was terrific. Rob mm. Zombie's original Halloween. No, I never saw that. Well, you should check it out. It's great. Why, when you can see the original? The first one... The first one was good, Ope. I'll give him that. See? Yeah. This is fucking second one was shit. It really was. Because it's been like at least a year, maybe two years, and Michael Myers has obviously been without a home, so he's got long hair and a long beard now. All right, and the explanation for his wife's horrible acting and him shoehorning her in every fucking movie he does. Rob right. Zombie used his wife. Of course, that's Michael Myers' mom. Sherry Moon Zombie, she's a wonderful-looking oh, lady. Yeah. She's a good actress. She's <laughs> A lot of people love her in Devil's oh, Rejects. They love her in House of a Thousand Corpses. She's become a scream queen and an icon of the genre. If this doesn't... All right, like I said, if this doesn't, Devil's Rejects was great. This movie sucked. I'm out, boys. Punching out. <laughs> if this doesn't say shit, I don't know what to tell you. Halloween 3D coming in summer 2010. Yeah. When they have to go with the 3D gimmick, yep. you know your franchise is in trouble. And uh, this is even better. Uh, Weinstein said, Rob Zombie, yeah. who directed Halloween uh, 2 yeah. uh, and the 2007 reboot of the 31-year-old horror series, will not be returning for <laughs> Halloween 3D. He already, look, he said, wait, wait, wait. He said the studio is in negotiation with a new director, whom he declined to name, who, quote, has experience in horror and has a different take on the franchise. It's gonna suck. Oh. It's gonna suck. And let me explain oh, something to you. That, oh. is, that right now is no. a scorn. And no, it's not a that scorn. That is a scorn the, on Rob Zombie. They're not even waiting no. for the like, movie to no. be a, a failure. Different take. They, he put a different take on it. And now they want a different take on the different take. Halloween 3D is gonna suck. Rob Zombie, you wanna talk about experience in horror. One, two, three, four, written and directed, so that's eight. Because wrote, written and directed, so that counts as two Which each. That? Who cares? Yeah. Did That's you, eight movies. Did you actually interview Rob Zombie? Yes, I did. And by the way, <laughs> Rob told me he didn't want to do a third Halloween. There you have it, Weinstein. Well, perhaps well, because of course he, he didn't want to. 
Never to return. It's called, uh, you know, a little spin. Damage control. That's Damage not what, control. no, it's not. Because he'll do another movie. It just won't be Halloween. It'll be something else. Oh, and it will be it? awesome. Wow. And he's coming out with a new album in November. Let me say hi to Matt in Florida. Matt. He does it all. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey guys. What, uh, what actually made Michael Myers uh, scary in the original series was the fact that Dr. Loomis says that he didn't speak for 15 years. The kid had no expression. Now, in these last two remakes from Rob Zombie, he's chatting it up. Uh, you know, he's seeing ghosts. There was nothing... It's the new dimension. He's chatting it up. Who's chatting it up? He didn't say one word. He, he spoke to his mother, talked about how he saw a white pony. When he was pony, a little kid. A white pony. Woo, scary. When he was a kid, he didn't chat it up. He was silent. He's chatting it up. He wasn't. <laughs> he, he, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He actually say, ooh, a white pony. Oh, a white pony. Scary. He, as a boy, yeah. he was excited by the white pony. <laughs> and that is something that comes back thematically throughout the film. I had the pony. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to hear... Sam, you're a very good interviewer. Let's Thank see, you. Let's see what this is all about. Rob talks about Halloween 2 to, to Sam. We hear Rob Zombie about Halloween 2. What's the haps? What is the haps? Mm -hmm. uh, Halloween 2, yes. Comes out August 28th, and uh, I'm very excited about that. So, like, uh, the first Halloween a couple years ago, that was kind of like a reimagining you said half prequel half uh whatever yeah this exactly. one <laughs> this one it's all you though right yeah the first one was sort of like uh yeah, it was a remake of the john carpenter's halloween sort of the first half was the first hour was all my stuff because none of that had been done before the young michael myers and his life and all that stuff so mm -hmm. but the second half was a little more like story elements that john this carpenter is more had boring already than boring it's not the boring two, you know, looking back on part one, I realized that whenever something was 100% original, it was always more successful as a movie. So I'd not successful. I'm more snooze in than creatively. snooze in. So for not part two, fair. I decided to just go 100% original, <laughs> not follow any path that had been gone down before. First of all, those are both, I noticed that you were making fun more human than human. Yes. When you, and you were not being fair. Oh, by listening. I'm that was sorry. a very good question and answer session. Oh, it was? What did yes. We just, Shit, sorry. What did we just hear? Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just Rob talking about doing an entirely original versus yeah. a movie yeah. that was half a remake, but also half original. I get it now. You understand? Yeah. Okay. Because that was they not... just leave that shit alone. You can remake horror movies, though. It's not like remaking comedies. Because no, horror did, movies, I, you get the gore and stuff and... Yeah, yeah. Plus, Rob Zombie takes in a whole new direction you never thought possible. It certainly does. Jaw-droppingly exciting. What a coincidence. His last name is Zombie. Okay, well... And he makes horror movies that's like not that. His, are you going to that first... What? It's not his born name. It isn't? No, he wasn't born with the last oh, name Zombie. Wow. But are you uh, going to go to that furry party or not? I mean, I don't want to. Fair. I'm not really <laughs> not party. planning on it. Furry. Remember See. the furry party thing? Yeah, to see if uh, we can Pat forget about that. Pat is here to remind us. Pat of oh, Florida. Oh, good, Pat. Hey, Pat. Great, Pat. Hey, What's yeah, up? I know that Sam would have been real happy about that, you know, uh, for somebody to call in and remind you guys. Thank you, Pat. When is the furry party? Uh, next month, if I'm not mistaken. We're getting close, Sam. Do you got your costume? No, I don't have a costume. Your costume? <laughs> I don't have a costume. Ed, does he have his costume? A costume. <laughs> it's costume. <laughs> and I don't have a costume. Uh, Sam just needs to go ahead and kill himself for the what? show. Come on. <laughs> well, <laughs> we have one day? Well, you know, we figured we'd come back with a bang. First day back from break, you kill yourself. It's I'm perfect. Not, I'm not. All right. Well, this just in. Yeah. What? Uh, Rob Zombie and his, uh, well, with all his talents, he is very to talented write and uh, direct and everything, is going to be remaking The Blob. This is Hollywood rumors. Director set uh, a sci fi redo of the 58 horror film The Blob. Uh, I guess I'll reinvent wait. that one. Boy, no, wait, this wait, is wait, rumors. Wait, wait, it's wait, not wait. confirmed. It's our, not confirmed. Our show is already losing Jimmy. Now we're going to lose E Rock. <laughs> oh, see, that's the. You'd be an actor. <laughs> see, the plot. Well, yeah. <laughs> that's not confirmed. Rob Zombie has an album coming out in November. He's going back on tour. Many, He's working on a movie called T Rex. He's got an animated movie coming out. How many movies is this guy going to wreck? This, what do you mean, oh, wreck? Shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one sounds really good. I can't wait to see the haunted world of El Super Bisto. That's an animated movie. It's coming sounds out. Great. Oh, stop it. Well, you're judging based on a title, and I think we yeah. know we can't judge a book by its cover. Yes, we can. 
So, <laughs> did you pick out your costume no, for the furry I part? Don't have costume. A costume. And what, and what not is it? And what do the furries do again? We forgot. Fairies? Nothing. The furries? Furries. Yeah, what do they do? They they get they go to a cheap hotel somewhere and they dress in costumes <laughs> yeah, and have sex out, with each they other. They hang out in a yeah. hotel lobby and sweat inside their costumes. <laughs> and just all their costumes. And they just rub on each other. Yeah. So <laughs> they get razors. Did you get your character yet? <laughs> no. You promised us. I didn't. You said I had to. Well, yeah, that's called a promise. Oh. <laughs> well, no, I have not finalized a costume yet. A costume. No. Is it true that Rob Zombie is going to be remaking The Goonies? No, that's not confirmed at all. <laughs> that awful wife of his could play sloth. <laughs> See, what are you talking? She's very good looking. What? She's very. I, I mean, can't give him a compliment. Why don't you draw, put up a little picture and do her versus sloth, Mr. Right. versus Internet what? versus Danny? No, Sam. What else did you like about Halloween too? Yeah, I went. I mean, we've heard about everything you did like about the movie, but, heard but, but every movie has its flaws. So another thing you didn't really like about. Halloween. It's a perfect movie. Well, I don't have that many flaws. The, the friend that I saw it with, his name's Chuck. <laughs> right. He went a little too art house because when Michael Myers spoke to his dead mother, she was in a white dress with a white spotlight and it was snowing down on oh, her. Oh, God. God. But that's what hack. he thought. It's not what I thought. Hack. It's not hack. hack. It is hack. It's hack. <laughs> See? Uh, <laughs> Ooh, there's delighted. Sherry Moon Zombie, the beautiful Sherry Moon Zombie and talented, I might add. Versus Sloth from the Goonies. Are we trying to say she's not hot? She's ridiculous. No, she's hot. I'm just okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'm Dan, Dan. Sorry, Dan. I, I want in on the bit, but I mean, that, that is a gorgeous <laughs> woman. Rob, she's Rob she's got a hottie. <laughs> Jesus. She's gorgeous. <laughs> uh, what are you thinking for your costume? I haven't even put one We're a month second out. of thought into it. We're a month out. It's time for the furry party. At some cheap hotel. Where is it? In Connecticut or somewhere? I don't know. Somebody would really have to look up the details again because I'm you not... You know you're going. And what are you going as? Well, where's this costume budget coming from? <laughs> costume? I'll write the check right now, my friend. <laughs> oh, give yeah. you a little extra on top. What are you, You've got what are you to. kidding? I mean, I haven't really thought a lot about a costume, but like a... How many weeks do we give them? We'll give you another week to come up with your costume, and the listeners will remind us. I know they will. They're great like that, what aren't they? What kind of party is this? What is it? Remember the furry thing. Remember you dress up in costumes and have sex with each other? <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember this, Ed? The furry convention. You all decided I was a furry one day. Furry. That's oh, that's I why I kept... Fairy. No, that's why I kept saying furry after you said fairy. Oh, fairy. Furry. F-U-R-R-Y. -R -R <laughs> it's a bunch of people... Wait, what's the other group? The uh, plushies. The plushies yeah, are what? They're, they're sick, though. They're ridiculous. The plushies oh, dress like up as furry. stuffed animals? I think the plushies bang stuffed animals. Yeah, they have sex yeah. with stuffed animals. The furries just... They are, just they dress up in like those Disney type costumes, like the and, characters. And they cut out their genital area <laughs> yeah, and just yeah, rub and on each other. Tiny holes. <laughs> and they cut holes. out the back of their costume, <laughs> costume. to show their <laughs> tiny holes. You don't remember this? Man? He's going to a furry convention now I in get Connecticut. It. But he has to come up with a costume. <laughs> Here it is. You got two weeks to come up with your oh, costume. It's Fur Fright, Fright in Fur Fright? Waterbury, Connecticut. Right. Waterbury. Look, Sam, there's only 46 <laughs> days left until Fur Fright 09. I don't care. Yeah. So you better yes, get your costume do. together. I don't have you a costume. You You're doing get some... Get a uh, costume. <laughs> I don't want to go. Cut, you your have to, cut your hiney hole out. <laughs> Not cutting your costume. Are you going to cut your hiney hole out? No. If cut I, your coolie hole out. <laughs> <laughs> if I am forced to go, my coolie will are remain let, covered. Are you going to let your genitals just hang out of your costume? No. <laughs> no. I'll be molested. Are you going to dye your, your pubic hair to match your costume? Your Nobody backside. would see it. <laughs> Nobody would see my costume backside. where your backside is. And your nipple area. No. Yeah. <laughs> Show your nipples and your coolie hole. <laughs> no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Daddy, very good news. Dude, uh, check out some of these awesome picks from wow. last year. Wow. Yeah, they got what? some. They they got quite a thing happening. Hey, look. Here. It's fucking uh, See, it's Beetlejuice. Almost, it's kind of like going to a Halloween party. You could do this, Sam. Yeah. This looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> you could do this. It looks yeah. hot. That could no. be you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. That's I like... mean, literally temperature hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the uh, air conditioner better be on. Yeah.
Why do people do this? Well, you're gonna Can't f- I just be one of the people not in costume? I'm so glad you asked why do people do this. That is the reason why you, Sam Roberts, are going to the furry convention. Fur Fright. Come on. Oh, nine. You think this will be more interesting days out. than my Rob Zombie interview? I, I already so. forgot about better, that. Better, better, no, I, it sucks you came all the way back to the city for that. <laughs> Jesus. Well, I did. I was glad I did it. I had the time. Yeah. I had a 15 minute interview with him and had a sense of accomplishment afterwards. As a matter of fact. So Good for you, you got two weeks to figure out your costume for yes. for costume. for fright. I don't. I don't want to go to this. Huh? I don't want to go to this thing. Let me say hi to Dustin in Texas. Dustin. Hey. You guys are uh, completely ignoring the fact that a new Jennifer Aniston movie come out this weekend. Holy shit, I've seen the trailer for this piece of garbage. What? It is one of these love story chick flick well, now, love hold, happens. Hold on. At first glance, it would seem that way. But th- this one's different, you see. Oh. Because there, there's this guy, and uh, he, he's real smart, real witty, charming, good looking. You know, he, he seems to have it all. Yeah. Except for one thing true love. And see, he he meets Jennifer Jennifer Aniston, and they uh, well, they sort of. Uh... <laughs> I hear Rob Zombie's remaking that next week. He's yeah. not. Like it he's, just came out. He's yeah. remade only he's one movie. It. First of all, that guy's snoring. still snoring. Fucking Jennifer Aniston. She's made that movie ten times already. More, uh, yes, uh, Ron Fez are off. Huh? Yeah, we what have to get mean? out of here then. Uh, I I just gotta say something quickly th- yeah. that. Uh, uh, a revelation over the weekend. Mm-hmm. You know all the Samsonite jokes we had made over the years about the big gorilla uh, stomping on Samsonite luggage that we use every so often as yeah. a reference point? Sure. <clears throat> it was American tourister luggage. It wasn't Samsonite. Really? Can you believe it? Ooh. <laughs> that is, wow. yes, we have faux wow. pas. What for a years. faux pas for years. Wow. Not Samsonite. It was American tourist. It's faux pas by turning these mics on every morning. Who are you exactly. kidding? Exactly. I disagree. Sam Rectamundo. Sam, very excited that you're going to have a costume for the fur fright. I don't know. You have to go. You know costume. that. Costume. Oh, actually, this is, yeah, we'll give you a choice, though. This is good. Uh, Steven from Virginia Beach. Yeah, um, Sam could get out of that convention if he just killed himself for the show in the next two weeks. But then yeah, I wouldn't be sure. alive. But that's that. that's not a bad out, though. You should. kill yourself before Fur Fright, then you don't have to go to Fur Fright. You should. Yeah. But then I'd be dead. I wouldn't be able to do anything at all. Huh? I wouldn't be able to do anything. I wouldn't. I'd cease to exist. I was thinking shark attack for you. Why? That would be uh, a cool be way cool. to go, man. Where's their shark attack? Oh, we'll to, figure it out. They have to put meat on him, though. <laughs> yes. Well, some chum. Strap some chum on him. I'm not doing that. I'm a young lad. I'm not doing that.